Welcome back to Trip Talk Tech. We are here for part two on Wellness Wednesday, part two of our series, Emotional Intelligence, part one. We talked about how to journal so we can learn our behaviors. Today, we're going to be talking feeling those feelings. We got to feel our feelings. And again, if we get to a point where we're comfortable in our feelings, all that means is now that we're comfortable, we're going to start moving differently. And if we're comfortable, we don't have to distract ourselves with all of the other stuff to help us feel more comfortable with how we're feeling in the moments that we're discomfortable, if you dig what I'm saying. Look, I want y'all to sit tight. We're not going to take much time, as you seen with part one, but part two, we got a lot of information to go over. We're going to be talking about how we're going to witness these feelings. We're going to talk about, you know, the, how we're going to recognize our stress, how we're going to move. It's going to be a good one, y'all. So y'all stay tuned. Let's get it. As we hopefully learned in our journaling experience, that we learn that a lot of our emotional behaviors or responses come from our responses when we were a child. You know, we just grew up in environments that we really didn't learn healthy ways of dealing with our emotions. So again, we dealt with them in a way and certain responses and then it get grained in the patterns. But again, with the journaling, we're learning these patterns now. Now we gotta kinda go within and stop feeling kind of what this feels like, make sure we're feeling safe. So again, we can operate a certain way. To do this, we first have to accept welcome and even embrace all of our reactions every last one we wrote down even the ones we didn't wrote down that we know we have we can't deny those we have to basically accept this is what it is and we have to be open we have to be loving we have to be kind to those reactions we have to be kind to ourselves and we can't be judging of ourselves and our reactions oh this is bad i gotta change this tomorrow no we aware of it and we accept this is what we do gotta start there and then once we do this this starts helping us to align ourselves with that reality or that person that we say we want to be or that person that all right we don't like this but we want to do this but again we have to accept what we do so we can kind of again love on it hug on it and, and, and shape and mold it and then it'll turn into what we want so how we're going to witness our feelings we're going to start out something simple again all we're going to do is our body right our body gives us all kind of signals all day long it does things when we feel a certain way and sometimes we just kind of overlook it but today we're going to pay attention to it so i want you to create a stress lab like a, a, a stress um build up chart i'll put this chart on my website www.triptalktech.com but i want you to go out there and you're going to see this this chart and in this chart um we're going to have one through ten and now you're going to you can define how you want to define these i'm going to put a sample definition in there and then you can kind of edit it to what your preference is to know yourself we're going to use this as a tool to gauge how our body responds what happens when these certain incidents or certain triggers happen so again we we learn okay over time all right, if I'm at a five or if I'm at an eight or if I'm at a 10, I know it's time for me to walk away. Or I know I got to take a break at a five because I'm getting to a 10 and I got to get back to a one. Or I know when to just be quiet, right? Because if I get quiet here, it won't go to the four or the five or the seven, right? So we're going to use this for a tool. It's going to be helpful, again, for you to just self-aware and self-identify, not self-judge but know when I'm getting there or going there. The biggest thing about this chart is this, be kind. Again, don't judge, be real, be honest with, with your reactions, but also be kind to yourself. You're just, you're in discovery phase. You're trying to figure out why you respond in certain ways. You're learning more information, you're becoming aware. So eventually you will change your behavior, I guarantee it. The biggest thing that you'll get from this exercise is we learn how to accept and welcome all of our feelings. This is so transformative because instead of making our whole experience about that thing, right? I'm sad or I'm angry or I'm mad or whatever I am, right? 
if I can reframe that again, accept and welcome. So again, it's not a, uh, I want to be sad or I want to be angry. No, but let's accept and welcome anger, right? This person did something to me. And then in this moment, I became angry. You did. You got angry. I'm a human. I get angry. But now I can deal with it in a different way versus this anger consumes all of me, all of my day. My day wasn't about anger. I had an anger moment. So welcoming and accepting. When we say things like I'm sad, I'm angry, what we do is actually we're welcoming that into our experience. And now we're going to run into more situations, more things with, with those that, that thing. So don't claim that. Your, your tongue is powerful. That tongue being so powerful, we can shift. And this is the next exercise, the part two of this. The next exercise is to shift and reframe how we view or what we're saying to get to a certain point. Instead of us repeating these, again, feelings and the behaviors behind these feelings, what we're going to do, we're going to observe again. We're going to jot our feelings down throughout the day. And then I want you to, number one, I want you to shift your language. What do I mean by that? So instead of saying, I am blank, whatever that emotion is, I want you to now say, a part of me is blank. And what that does is it takes a power away from you feeling like blank all day and just acknowledges that, hey, I had a moment in time where I was blank. And now that power, that, that time is over. That gives you your strength back. Step two, and you can do this by talking it out loud, say it in your mind, write it down in your journal again. But um, we're going to welcome in that feeling. And the thing with welcoming, again, is about our speech and how we handle it. So you just say, I welcome the feeling of blank that I am currently experiencing or witnessing right now. That's it. Each time you do part two, I want you to also, in addition to that, to yourself, uh, let yourself know that and say to yourself, I am not that emotion. Just a part of me is experiencing that emotion at this time. That's it. I appreciate y'all taking y'all time with us on part two of this feeling, your feelings, uh, the emotional intelligence series. Emotional intelligence series part three, we're going to be identifying the triggers and figuring it all out. We're going to put it all together. Um, again, hopefully these last two parts of our emotional intelligence segments has given you the tools to give you the information you need to just be a, become a better person. Or again, at least identify, accept the person that you are. That's all we're trying to do. We ain't trying to make nothing new here, nothing crazy. But again, with a lot going on in the world, a lot of the things that happen to us externally are actually happening to us internally. So if we can go in, try to intercept that, and believe me, I'm not perfect. I'm not saying that these things don't happen to me. I go in and out all the time. But again, I do have these tools that help me out. So I just want to share them with you to help you out if you need them. If not, that's fine too. Click away. Share it with somebody that might need it because you never know. A little bit help somebody that might be over the edge that again that you learned from uh, emotional intelligence part one. They just might not be speaking on it. And it's reasons why, because of some things that happened in our childhood. So again, let's put all of the pieces together. I thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all. Uh, I love y'all. It's Trip Talk Tech, y'all. Trip Talk, Trip Talk Tech. You gotta see it even when it never's far-fetched. Gotta believe in yourself in the process until you progress, till you progress.